Hi! Welcome to Anime World Tower Defense. I know this isn't the same tower defense game as other games I've been playing necessarily, but I have found that a lot of the best games on Roblox right now seem to be the tower defense style games or more anime themed games as well, that sort of thing. I wouldn't honestly be able to tell you the exact reason as to why it is what it is, but they've been extremely enjoyable in recent times. I don't know if it's the same for you guys, but definitely for me. And I didn't want to do a back-to-back -back video on the same game with like anime adventures to another anime adventures, although that's probably going to happen in the future. But in this case, I wanted it to be a little bit different. So this one is of course, anime world and ooh, wait, Archer and <gasps> Wait, I need actually, I need to get dupes of power. So I need to pull on this real quick. Hold up. Yoink. Okay, I need like, what, one more power? Hold on, I'll explain everything here in a moment. I need more though. Oh, please. I'm desperate. No, please. Please, why? All right, I guess we're just gonna have to spam the single pulls on this. Please. No, I just need power. One more time. Please. Oh my God. I'm about to make lose it. That's very saddening. I got a singular power and no others but anyways yeah there's the normal way of summoning using these puzzle pieces and they have different banners and stuff you can pull on there these are pretty neat and all that good stuff there's also a pity system which i really like and then on top of that they do have the soul banner which is essentially what you would use your duplicates currency because if you get a duplicate it turns into another currency and then you can spend that here at the soul banner which i was trying to get another power because i desperately need that and we'll talk about this halloween banner in a second a lot of these different tower defense games they have their own ways of getting things to be more advanced uh, uh, in terms of a tower or a unit or a character that sort of thing right tower defense simulator that game has golden towers and you have to grind coins to get a random chance at getting one of the golden towers anime adventures has evos and evolutions that you would essentially do and that's usually obtained by getting fruits and waiting for challenges and then getting some takedowns in this game it's similar but a little bit different here it shows you the list of every single one of the units that you have that are able to be evoed and it does go all the way down even to a common rated characters but we can go all the way up to the lrs here just as an example and let's just go ahead and click on one of them in this case i'm going to go ahead and click on power just because i know that i wanted to check that one out and so here it looks like we have a requirement of getting damage then getting a bunch of other materials and resources as well as getting the duplicates because the more duplicates you get the more likely you're going to be able to evo i mean we even have denji which they did so dirty by naming him dennis which is hilarious though but we also have denji in the game i want to evo power because it seems like it would be a really solid unit if i can evo her but i need to get one more dupe so i guess i gotta keep doing that but nonetheless we're gonna go ahead and do my daily missions today that's my goal of this video is to do my daily quest because they recently added a pass to the game it's a battle pass like any other game, and I know how some of you like or dislike battle passes. Me, personally, I don't really mind them, if I'm going to be 100% honest. And also, it doesn't seem too terrible to get through the battle pass either. It just looks like it, the entire point of getting through it would just to be doing the quest necessary, and you would get everything. And on top of that, we're going to be able to do some more pulls, which would be really fun here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do two-in-one by doing this endless wave, orb wave thing and that should be able to get us up there. The main character that I've been working on that I want to evo really badly is Koji. I'm going off of, of course, the in-game name. And then on top of that, I also have um, Sid's sister, also known in this game as Sombra's sister. And there is a Halloween banner with a Halloween event. The event is pretty straightforward and pretty fun, I'd say. But the cool thing is, is that they have their own unique original characters that they make sometimes. I don't know if Blood Queen is a unique original character made by the devs of the game. But nonetheless, it is a really cool character. But I know that we have Alucard, and then we also have Shadow Collector. And I'm really excited to get those, to be honest. And I mean, there's a bunch of different skins from this event, as well as some units. It's a really fun type of an event, in my opinion. I just like it. I like what they are doing here. I think it's pretty neat. But that we're not focused on that today for this video. And of course, this is actually right after the update that happened recently. Oh, there's a, even an SR++. So an SR was able to Evo. And then you can evo it again that's cool all right i like that it was just confusing me because today is not the first of october it's actually the fifth of november but that yeah yeah that that messed me up okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place uh sombra sister up here to help me deal with the early waves we're going to auto skip ready up and then we're going to be on 2x speed for a little bit here and here we can see the type of modifier they have above their head their type of element they are which is of course is yellow um so i'm not going to worry about it right now i'm going to go ahead and keep it on 3x speed 
until we have errors I have to worry about. And then I'm going to place my Gilgamesh since Gilgamesh can immediately deal with errors. We're also going to use the ability automatically there to have that all set. Um, I also think I have the effects turned off because I just turned them off a while ago, I think. It's hard for me to remember, and it's a little hard for me to talk and play this game at the same time, if I'm honest. It's been a little while since I last made a video, which I'm sorry for. Okay, I'm trying my best here, man. I really am. Okay, now I think this is errors. Yeah. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and Gilga it up. Uh, I kind of want to Gilga it up, like, right here. All right, now we go back to upgrading it oshi here because i really need to get oshi up so that way i can deal even more damage but the goal really is just 15 waves which i know i can get to uh but at the same time this is good for getting damage and farming damage so we're gonna also try to do that by using my kojis for that all right time to place down all my kojis and they're getting an attack buff from this oshi as well which is super nice this is only a three placement tower so i'm a little bit sad about that because it could re genuinely be producing even more damage for me but it isn't <laughs> But what I do like about this game is I love the aspects of different grinds of this game. And it's honestly, it might not be the most polished game out there. But I can tell that the devs put in a lot of hard work and effort into this game. So I can definitely respect that. And it feels good to play. So I really don't have any complaints. I mean, I, I do have some. But my complaints are realistically just from the clunkiness that exists in this game. And what I mean by the clunkiness that exists is this game doesn't always keep the party together if you click play again if you have an entire group of people you're playing with and that is of course extremely bothersome if you're trying to do long grinding sessions of events and certain things like that so hopefully the devs can figure out what the problem is with that and then get that fixed because it is a pain like genuinely a pain especially with the halloween event and all like you want to be able to farm the halloween stuff but you can't at the same time because of how that stuff is going yeah it's a mess okay so now i've maxed out the unit placements of koji and gilga so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is place Dio so that way Dio can time stop and then I have more time to work on getting some extra damage. I think I want to place them a little bit closer here so that way the Gilgas can have a little bit of time to work. Okay, so now we max out this Dio. We do the time stop, auto ability that... Let me upgrade, please. Okay, well now I have to wait for the entire loop to go through and then I can... The world! Oh! Okay, I gotta turn off your auto ability then since I messed up my time stop. Okay, there we go. Now I have the abilities correct, which is awesome. So if we take a look at my first Koji that I placed, uh, already at eight, 100 million roughly, and then once we get past like this 40 wave mark, the enemy's HP is gonna skyrocket. Okay, I kinda wanna put these Sombra sisters like literally right next to power since they are line AoEs. I'm not a big fan of line AoEs, but they are better than Cone in my opinion. Okay, so now my DLs are starting to come into play with their time stop ability. Uh, my Gilgameshes, they should all be maxed out at this point. If not, then I messed up a little, but it looks like they are maxed out all the way. I placed down everything I needed to place. So at this point, we just keep going until we essentially lose. Uh, my Kojis are probably skyrocketing in their damage now. Yep, here we go. One billion for you. Almost a billion for that one. Two billion for you. So yeah, the damage is definitely getting there. And I didn't even activate uh, my Koji's ability. It's fine, though. We, we did what we wanted to do. And now we should be able to head back to the lobby and some of our quests should be done. Okay, so now I do see that we have some quests done. It looks like that didn't count as an endless stage, which makes me pretty sad. But that's okay, because at least we got one of the dailies done there. Uh, I might have completed some other quests. Looks like we got an extra done, which is always nice to see. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can get for evoing characters, but that, that requires me to evo certain rarer characters. But at least we have a singular ten pull that we can do, which we're definitely going to use on trying to get another saber. So that way I can evo saber at some point. Or I can go for power. And I think power is on the demonic hunt banner um i think what i'll do is i'll wait till i hit lr and then maybe i'll pull and see if i get sabers for my guaranteed one but we'll just go ahead and see if this one gets me another pow so you're gonna give me an ultra rare but you had to give me denji like i get it thanks but also why this game definitely has its own clunkiness here and there like for example it says i have 138 souls i want to go into here it says i have 5,000. so there's things like that that definitely do up here in the game and do bug me all in all majority of the game is honestly a really fun solid game and we even have this pass that I, of course i'm working towards uh most of these things seem pretty all right i'll be honest the gold isn't all that appealing but things like the miracle shard to limit break your units is nice 
puzzle pieces are nice reroll tokens are very good too um but the main reason why i got this is because of the units that we get from the top part the skin and then the skins that we get from the bottom part which that the bottom one costs robux there's a good amount of miracle shards in here i mean they even have a Huta skin from Genshin Impact for this spooky para character, which is funny. Um, I wonder if whenever you get closer to the end here, if you start to get a lot more miracle. I guess not, but there is a zombie pledge and a zombie and a zombie pledge witch. That's pretty neat. On all, there's a lot of things to do in this game, and I really do enjoy the game quite a bit. Um, of course, I pretty much have everything that I could get in terms of game passes. I, all the LRs I have are pretty insane since I have quite literally almost all of them. At least the non-limited ones, I have almost all of them, if not all of them. I think I'm still missing like one or two, but I pretty much at this point can confidently say that I have quite a lot. <laughs> I also managed to get a secret from just pulling. This is, of course, Rias Grimmery from High School DxD. Uh, in, in this game, she is referred to as Crimson Waifu, and I have a skin on her. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different things to aim for in this game, and I really like it, as well as I really enjoy the Evo system in this game, because it requires you to get those materials. It requires you to get damage and not necessarily kills, and I like that aspect as well quite a bit. And they continuously add evolutions every update. For example, with the recent update, they added Saber's Evo. And before Saber's Evo, they added Mihawk's Evo. So things get pretty pretty nuts in this game. Also, I don't know if it was Mihawk or Gojo, but I know that Gojo was recent too, I believe. But now we can scroll all the way down to the commons where we can see the Koji. By the way, my Koji, that's a common. This is the first evolution. The Evo I'm working for is towards a second Evo which of course needs 66.67 billion and then i have to grind all these other resources and as you guys saw i wasted all my spirit or my souls or whatever you want to call it and that was the currency on that soul banner and yeah that didn't work out for me and now i have to also get these up in the future too and my best bet to get more puzzle pieces to pull for this is either swiping on the game and getting myself puzzle pieces or just by playing the game and farming which is probably the better option in total but realistically i don't see that this evolution is going to be all that much more difficult than the current one that we're at and another cool thing about this game as well that i feel like gets overlooked and isn't talked about much i don't even think that this game is talked about much as it is we can actually go back in time to the evolutions we can actually swap back to the original koji if i click form it gives us right back to koji form one i click it again takes me all the way back to Koji Form 2. And the reason why Evoing units is really important in this game is not because you would just straight up get better damage and all that, but it increases the level cap without having to do a limit break, which that limit break also increases the level cap. So you, the levels on units can get definitely pretty insane. And if you have enough of like evolution materials, but you don't have units to Evo, item creation. You can craft other items with items you've already farmed, which is nuts. I love that. And also they have some secrets in this game. I'm not going to spoil them right now in this video. I might do it in future videos, but of course not going to do that in this one. We're running out of a bit of time. But there's all sorts of things. We have things like legends, endlesses, events, raids, story. I haven't even beat all the story modes. And a big one that I've seen a lot of people get crazy about is how they have a Makima unit that you can get by doing the Makima raid as well of course it is a three percent drop rate though and now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i want to do one more run of something here let's just go ahead and do endless darkness tower why not sure do i start with koji i think i'm gonna start with koji just because all right now we're on three x speed koji's placed down we have okay so these are the white enemy types meaning that they don't actually have a weakness like that we're gonna place you here and then you're gonna start buffing attack damage if we run into any problems we are gonna have to either upgrade koji or something along those lines here hopefully we don't have to do anything too crazy soon because getting oshi up is kind of key here okay there's stunner enemies so that's not good stunner enemies are they it's exactly what it sounds like they stun my units whenever they die there's some characters that have a resist passive where they resist being stunned okay so oshi is maxed now we go back to the koji and start upgrading like crazy whenever i max this one out i'll use the ability just because i wasn't able to show it off last time so here we go and i am not 100 sure what it all completely does necessarily but i know that it should do a quite a bit of damage 
if everything goes well. Okay, well, I'm gonna, need, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need to slow this down for a moment, back to one speed, hopefully, for a moment, just just for a little, please. I need, to, I need to get more Kojis down real quick. Hold up, there we go. And then I think I wanna do a Sombra Sister here. Hopefully this isn't close enough to get stunned. That's kind of my goal here, is I don't want my Sombra Sisters to get stunned. I want them to be able to deal with whatever runs up front. And then hopefully the Kojis can just deal with the strongest so we'll set two of them the strongest and we'll keep one of them at first and then we go back up in speed okay so i placed all those all my kojis are placed as well uh now we can start worrying about my power placements and let's see how far the range goes for oshi i guess we can just go right here in the inner side right here like this that's not too bad i don't think and also the line for power is pretty large so that's always a plus oh and also thank you guys so much for all of your love and support on my last video by the way i didn't even get around to mentioning that you guys were absolutely so kind and very nice and i didn't expect the video to pop off the way that it did um that anime adventures video was honestly it was a really fun time and i really appreciate every single one of you guys for being so awesome with that what a great time that one was i want to see how far i can go in this run now <laughs> i've already gotten so far i gotta see i gotta see where it goes okay this one i actually have to pay attention for the time stop uh combo here to info to infinity stun is what i like to call it all right, so once that gets down to 50, I'll just activate the next one. Same thing goes for the rest of them. The 50, then we just rotate out. Not that that's necessarily the recommended way of doing it. It's just the way that I do it personally, because I'm too lazy to figure out the math behind it right now. Okay, then we can Gilga. I think Gilga right here is the play. Yeah, because then Gilga can cover a majority of the initial front part of the track, which gives my units some extra time to deal damage where and if necessary and then that should be all my towers placed now if i go and click on every single one of the units it'll show up that i've placed too many of each and now we just kind of sit here and wait until we lose but we've gone pretty far as it is we're stunning them as they come out of the gate because of my Gilgas just sniping them. I'm going to set one of my strongest to deal damage by spamming the ability whenever it becomes available. So we'll go ahead and select Koji and set that to an auto ability so that way it can automatically cast it whenever it's ready. And then with that, I think we should be set to at least get to like, I don't know, my prediction is going to be like wave 80. I could be very far off though. This is just one of those games that, although it may not have the polish of games like Tower Defense Simulator or Anime Adventures, it's one of the games that because of how good the gameplay is you're able to sit there and continue to play it and that is of course without any issues okay so i don't think i'm actually gonna make it to wave 80 considering how far these enemies are actually getting now but it's fine by me as long as i'm able to get decent damage which it looks like i'm honestly about to get another couple billion depending on how things go um it's not 100 promising but we're doing things that's for sure yeah my gilgamesh is uh, we're trying their best there. i think this is actually where i die and lose here unfortunately but it, it happens at least i got to wave 64 and the rewards weren't much there either we're just gonna go ahead and head back to lobby i think it might take me to a public server this time though but it is what it is another thing i forgot to completely mention as well is that the damage that you build up and the duplicates you build up on your account with specific characters if there is an evo that comes out later on your damage still counts and your duplicate pulls still count before we got sabers evo my damage was roughly in the billions here so the the damage counts i never actually got a duplicate summon for saber though and that's why we don't see that but we do have another quest done another thing for the past there complete five daily missions so we got even more things done even a limit breaking material too which is always nice to see if i do that one more time i should be able to get this complete all weekly quests as well which will be nuts and then we can claim the rest of these good stuff and now we should have yeah we have quite a bit of puzzle pieces here to use at the gotcha which of course we're going to continue to try and get power because evoing power would be nice just because it's one of the ones i'm going for um that's if we can pull power that'd be great you know i would i would absolutely love that please at this point i'm more likely to get an lr than i am to get an a ur please Oh my god, it's giving me everything that isn't the thing I want. Please, I'll cry. Oh my, I, I pulled every other UR in the banner, except for Grappler and Power. Wow, okay. Also though, if you guys are familiar with All-Star Tower Defense as well, uh, this game, the best way to look at this game is take the best things from Anime Adventures and All-Star Tower Defense and kind of combine them into one game. 
that's kind of how me and my friends see the, and play this game. And also, don't forget to look for codes online for the game too, so that way you at least are able to use all the codes and whatnot to get yourself a jump start in the game. Does Payne even have an Evo, or did I kind of just use the modifiles on him for nothing? Okay, so Payne doesn't have an Evo. Low-key a missed opportunity, but you know what? The devs are still actively working on the game. Can't complain too much. Uh, but yeah, and I guess one more thing I want to show off right before I go ahead and close off this video is whenever you go to the play area and you go into one of these elevators, uh, if you want to play the Halloween event, it's going to be under Legend Stages under Halloween Town. Make sure that one of you or your friends brings a unit that can heal the base or increase the health of the base. These will be units like Shielder or another option is Ultimus. You'll find these in one of the banners in the summon area or whatnot. But yeah, bring those and you should be able to do the Halloween event. It's really straightforward. Just bring damage and have life. And then there you go. But anyway, that's going to have to be it for my video, guys. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this. I know that this one was a little bit all over the place because it was more of a co gameplay commentary with me just trying to do my daily quests while just having some fun. Hope that it was still enjoyable nonetheless, though. And I have been doing a lot better. Thank you guys for all of your love and support in the comments on my last video, and I'm assuming that there might be some in this video too. So thank you guys all so very much for all that, and I can't wait to see all of you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!